books and everything and everything was really cheap. So we went a little crazy. And I bought way too many. <laughs> she bought way too many. I love book hauls, so Me too. let's get started. See what the first book I picked up was this. It's normally like $20, $25, and it was how much was it? It was $8.98. Look at this. It's <laughs> This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, introduction by John Green. I love it so much so far. I love Esther. She, I wish I could have played her. She was awesome. So my first book is Confessions of a Murder Suspect by James Patterson. I read it from the library and I was so obsessed. I got the whole series and I read them in like three days. It's like a mystery. Um, Tandy, her parents get murdered and she has to figure out who did it. So I got these two. I have not read Lola and the Boy Next Door. I know that I skipped one and I'm sorry, but they didn't have it. But they had these two and I read them both and I really like them. I think they're really good. I do like this one though better than this one. It's it's cute like romantic kind of stories, like coming of age stories. And then it's also like really deep. Too. They're not cheesy yeah, at all. Like, I think some people would think they're cheesy from the covers. Yeah, but they're, I don't know, like Anna and the French Kiss, I would I would thought this was like really cheesy book, but it's not. It was really It's good. really yeah, it has a lot of deep things in it that like Yeah, like what's in the future? Like what are you supposed to do with your future? Yeah, they're really good. So the second book I got is The Skies Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. <laughs> I love Jandy Nelson. I read I'll Give You the Sun and I read that probably twice a month. It's so good. This is about Lenny whose sister unexpectedly dies and she kind of has to navigate like her grief with everyone else's grief because I think she forgets everyone else is grieving just as much as she is. Some of it is told in poetry because she writes these letters to her sister and leaves them all over and you get to see the letters. Um, it's really cool and it's really deep and I love it. My next book <laughs> is also This Guy's Everywhere. I have not read it. She was almost gonna buy it. She was like, I already have it, but the cover is so pretty. This cover so is good. way prettier than this one because this one matches I'll Give You the Sun. Yeah, right. There. But I basically just said, I was like, if you don't get it, I'm gonna get it because you keep saying it's so good. So I got it and I haven't read it yet, but I'm very excited. Another book I chose is Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I've heard that this book was ma being made into a movie, but I never really heard much about the book. And so I picked it up at the bookstore, it was on sale, and I decided to get it. It's not my favorite, it's kind of, I thought it would be more thoughtful. It was still, it's a good read, it's a quick read. Um, it says in the beginning like four times, he's like, I learned nothing from this experience. Like, yeah. Well, then why are you writing a book about it? It's a little bit hard to relate to this character because he's really, really cynical and like doesn't care. I'd give it like a two out of five stars. The next book I got was The Spectacular Now. Uh, I saw it on her bookshelf and I kind of just wanted to get it so I could read it. I heard really good things about the movie and it's got two of my favorite actors and actresses in it, uh, Miles Teller and Shailene Wood. It was, I just finished it this morning. I kind of skipped around a little bit, but it was okay. Overall, it was a pretty good book. Yeah, like three out of five stars. So the next book is To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. Heard about P.S. I Still Love You, and I didn't know that this was, it was a sequel, but this is like one of my new favorite books. It is so good, and it's really, um, touches on a lot of stuff. So this girl writes love letters to all the boys she's ever really loved, but they're not love letters, they're goodbye love letters. So she doesn't, she writes them when she's not in love with them anymore. And I think the concept is really interesting. I'm excited to see where this story goes and I'm excited to read P.S. I Still Love You because this one is an amazing book. This is Off the Page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. I actually got Between the Lines, I got it, I went to a Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer signing with my friend Tasha and I got Between the Lines and I was so excited, I love that book so much. It's basically about a girl who is obsessed with this children's fairy tale and then she discovers that the character in the story, Oliver, is alive. All the characters are alive and they can talk to her basically through the dimensions like of the book. Okay? Because Oliver doesn't want to be in the story anymore, they're trying to figure out a way to bring him into the real world. And I didn't know there was a sequel, but there is, and I saw this on the shelf and I was so excited. Basically just continuing that story. Um, the next book I got is I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. About a girl who lives in like a really 
poor part of California where her basically her future is like waitressing or like having a baby really young and she really wants to get out of this town and then she uh, reconnects with this guy Josh who just came back from Afghanistan serving in the war and it's kind of their story intertwined. Alright so this was the Book Monsters 11 summer book haul. We're super excited. I love book hauls because I mean who doesn't love having enough books to have a haul? And this is our first book haul. Yes! So I think it went pretty well. So if you like this video, share, subscribe, like. If you want to go over something really quickly, Monday will be my day to upload when we are not together anymore because I'm going back home. And Friday will be my day, so you'll always have a Book Monsters 11 video, you'll never be without one. Occasionally we will be posting a vlog on Wednesdays like we did last Wednesday. Yeah. So we are super excited that you guys are on our channel. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. We'll yes. tag all of that below and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.